So what's going on everyone? Welcome back again to another Fox Tech video and in this one I'm gonna be showing you how you can check if your router has any malware or viruses which can ensure that your uh, router is secure and that is crucial for maintaining a safe internet of course. So I'm gonna guide you through a couple of different things so let's get started. At first we need to find your router's IP address. Now this is essential for accessing the router's settings so on your device Go to these settings and navigate to the Wi-Fi section. Look for your internet connection and tap on it to view the details, right? So here you'll find the router's IP address, which usually starts with the 192.168 and just goes like that, right? So you need to copy this address because we'll need it in the next step. So now just open up a web browser like Safari or something and you need to paste the copied IP address into the address bar and hit enter, right? This will take you to the login page of your router's settings. You'll need to enter your username and password to access these settings. If you haven't changed it in the past yourself, then the password and the login credentials are gonna be exactly those which are in the user manual of your router. So you can always refer back to it for the information, right? Once you're logged in in the router settings, the first thing you should do is to check your network name and password. And you just wanna ensure that these have not been changed without your permission. If you notice any unauthorized changes, it's a sign that your router might be compromised or changed or some, something, right? But then next, you need to navigate to the diagnostics sections of your router settings. Most modern, I mean, most of the routers come with the built-in diagnostic tools that allow you to test the router's performance and check for any issues, right? I cannot tell you exactly because there are so many different brands and like names of the routers. So you need to check it out for yourself, right? So you can run a full diagnostic scan to detect any problems. And, and while you're in here, also you can review the logs when Logs can provide valuable information about any unusual or suspicious activity on your network. So look for any unfamiliar devices or repeated login attempts or something that could indicate unauthorized access, right? If you find anything suspicious, it might be necessary to update your router's firmware. So check for the uh, manufacturer's website for any available updates, perhaps call your internet provider, perhaps get the router replaced with the same model, but just a different type, a different like, um, like device, right, to replace it. But yeah, it might, in some cases, you might also want to reset it to the factory settings. So you can go ahead and do that. This again, depends on the specific model, but usually it shouldn't be that hard to find, right? But by following these steps, you can check the router for any possible viruses or anything which could be going on so hope you found this video useful if you did hit the thumbs up subscribe below and i'll see you in the next video